Christmas gifts with all the trimmings from Real Deals for You. Okay, so the job we've got today is we've got a load bearing timber right away across a very old conservatory. The problem we've got is, as you can see here, it's rotten at this end. Now, that causes a few problems because this is reinforced plate glass on the roof with the wire going through it. How are we going to solve this one? Either support the roof with an acro jack and a board, jack it up, saw through, and then replace the timber with a clean bit. Uh, that's going to take forever. Not keen on doing that on such a heavy and old roof. The second option would be a tried and trusted method, which is chisel and hammer. You can go straight through there. The only problem with doing that is it's going to leave a messy edge where water and moisture ultimately can get in. It's not going to be a very neat job and again it's going to take ages. So today what I'm going to use is a multi-saw. Uh, it's quite a common product now. This is uh, my favourite one at the moment. This is an iron held 10.8 volt cordless multi-tool. The reason I like this is obviously there's no cord so it's portable. I don't have to worry about tripping over wires. Um, the other thing is it's got a nice soft grip, slim body, which gives me full control when I'm using it. It's an easy top flip switch. And one of the really nice functions on this one is it's adjustable speed, variable speed, right down to a very low speed, which gives you full control and you can make a nice clean cut in whatever material that you're working with. So, let's load it up and get going. Right, this is the blade that I'm going to use today. It's a 63mm wide wood blade. It's got the precision Japanese flame tooth teeth on it, which will give us a nice fast cut in wood, but a nice clean, precise cut as well. As you can see, this is where we fit the blade. And you can see all the configurations on there. This enables me to set the blade at different angles, uh, depending on where I'm going into. I'm going to set it not at 90 degrees because I'm working up high there uh, and this will give me a better angle to go in to the material with. So all you do is you put the blade over the lugs, put the washer on, secure it down with the Allen key that's supplied. That's it. And that's all there is to it, and we're ready to go. So we've got a nice clean cut now, we're going to put the new bit in, and then the jobs are good. So off we go, and we'll have a look at the end result. So we've put the new piece of wood in, sat it down in the channel over the window, got a nice snug fit there, siliconed it all round, put a couple of self tappers through there to keep it secure, a couple of screws that way, countersunk screws that way, so that's not going anywhere now. Okay, so what we're doing now, I've put the bimetal blade in the multi-tool, and I'm just cutting the notches out to finish off under the glazing beads uh, on the roof and this will do a nice job, put it on a medium speed just so I've got control while I'm cutting the notches out. Visit realdealsforyou.com to find your nearest stockist.